Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to show how to pull a Docker image via a digest. We're also going to talk about why you might want to do that as well. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so Docker images. Usually the way that you're going to pull them is from a particular registry, defaulting to the Docker Hub, Docker.io registry. Uh, in this case, we're looking at GitHub's container registry because it has a nice specific example. Uh, but typically when you pull something, you're going to pull it by a tag. Uh, so there will be a image name, a colon, and then the tag here. The tag here is 9.6-alpine, for example. However, this has one downside in that tags in Docker images are mutable. That means they can be changed. And often, you know, it's, it's very typical to change what a tag points to. Uh, the most conventional tag, of course, being colon latest, which points at usually the latest version of an image, and that up updates over time. However, you might not want this sort of variability in your system. You may want to pin to a very specific version that doesn't change over time. Uh, and typically you can't guarantee what the remote uh, server sets as its tags. And so it's you know, not necessarily possible to always pick a tag or have, have the upstream make a tag that's going to be consistent. Fortunately, there's a way around this. Each image that is posted to a registry has a digest, a checksum of the particular image. And on GitHub's registry, you can grab those digests pretty easily. But I wanted to show you a, uh, a way to retrieve it from the API such that you can get this value if you're working with any sort of Docker registry. Uh, some of the code that we're gonna be using today comes from episode 476. So if you want to search for the Docker registry API, that's where I'm going to be stealing some code from. Um, but we're also going to show you some commands that will work some of the time. So unfortunately, there are two different formats. And one of the formats, it's much more difficult to get the digest of one of them. It's really, really easy. Um, specifically, we're going to be looking at the last revision of the shell script. I've copied that to here. Uh, so we'll go over this very quickly what it's doing. So basically we're grabbing in an auth token and then we are getting the manifest. So that's all this is doing. And then we're going to modify this as we go forward. Uh, we're going to start with this particular image here just because this is one of the ones where it doesn't work well, <laughs> or at least the, the normal Docker or Podman commands don't work very well. And so we're going to have to use um, the API to get it directly. Okay, so let's first show what the actual Docker commands would be if it supported this. Uh, and those are, well, I have Podman, so I'm gonna use Podman. Podman manifest inspect, and then you can pass the Docker image name here. So in this case, we're using ghcr.io slash precommit ci slash runner image colon latest. And what this will do is it will pull down the manifest, the kind of description of the Docker image from the registry, and it'll print it out. Uh, now there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You'll notice that there are a bunch of places where it says sha 6 and we have digests. These are the actual digests for the individual parts of the image, but not the image itself, unfortunately. And if you're dealing with a single image, you'll get this warning, uh, at least in Podman. I think Docker doesn't give you this warning, which is annoying, but uh, if you're receiving just a single image back, then the command line tools won't be that helpful for finding the SHA-256. So unfortunately, it is only stored in, or is only shown in a header when making the API requests. Um, yeah, and these are like the digests for individual layers. Those aren't useful for what we need. If you have a, a multi-architecture image or a list format image, you'll actually see the digests directly in the output. So for instance, if we do that image we had before, which was image mirror library Postgres, at 9.6-alpine, uh, you'll see a much different structure of a manifest here. You'll get this sort of list of manifests here. And this digest here can be used directly to pull that image. So for instance, if we grab this digest, it's for the x86-64 Linux. Let me grab that. I can now pull directly. Now the syntax for pulling from a particular digest is instead of having a colon and the tag at the end, you're gonna have an at sign and then the digest information there. So we're pulling at SHA-D6, 84E, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and that will pull that image at that very particular uh, checksum. And it'll always, you know, this will be a consistent version. You won't, <laughs> you won't have to worry about this changing out from under you because, you know, you're using, you're using a checksum of the actual image itself. And now you might not wanna deal with this really long, ugly name all the time, so, 
often what I see people do is, is then pod band tag this to the actual original tag that we had before, so like 9.6 dash alpine. And that way you can refer to it as, you know, this, this nice name later. Pod band run. Yeah, so you can you can use the next name. Okay, so I showed you the list format. The list format's easy, works great. Don't have to really worry about how to get these digests. It's just very clearly in the output. Unfortunately, I would say most images, but a lot of new images have been multi-architecture. But the default way that images are going to get created will not have this nice list format, and so you have to resort to the API. Okay. So back to the API, this is essentially what Podman Manifest Inspect is doing. It's getting an auth token and then it's downloading the manifest. And if we do that for this image here, we run this, we should see basically the same output as what we saw before. So this whole manifest here. Now, again, the, the digest actually isn't in that output. It is in a header that gets re replied here. So if we turn curl into verbose mode, it'll then show the headers. And then if we grab for the particular header, which is docker-content-digest, and I'm gonna case insensitive because headers are case insensitive, this should tell us the digest of that particular image. So if we run this, you'll see that we get 3ddcb. Just to, just to double check, see that's different than this config manifest we saw here, and it's different than any of the layers here. Um, but this is the digest for that particular image. And so if we now go to do podman pull ghcr.io slash pre-commit ci slash runner image at that digest, we should be able to pull that image. And we can. Oops, I wanted to make one small correction on this one. Uh, I noticed after the video and while implementing this for a different Docker registry that sometimes the headers and the HTTP method are a little bit more important. Uh, so just one small adjustment. Uh, you need this specific accept header or the other v2 list uh, accept header. This will force it to use a v2 response instead of a v1 response, you know, despite v2 being in the API URL. Uh, the other thing is the head method is important. This is specifically for Amazon's ECR. Uh, if you issue a GET request, it doesn't tell you the digest and the response headers, uh, but you need this method head to force that. Uh, note also that the digest of the image is different than the image ID. Those are, I don't know why they did this. There's like three different ways to refer to an image and it's kind of annoying. Also, one other thing to note, and I found this out the hard way, uh, if you take an identical image and you push it to two different registries, the registry will often rewrite the JSON, you know, changing white space or other stuff, uh, which makes this digest not consistent across different registries. So you'll have to look up the, like if you're, if you have like a fallback scenario where maybe you primarily go to GitHub, sometimes you go to Docker Hub, maybe you go to ECR, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you'll need to grab the digest for each of your different um, uh, Docker hosts or <laughs> uh, image registries because it's not consistent. Also really annoying. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful and understand that now grab these to get a consistent image poll and showed you the two ways to get it, either via the manifest for list-based ones or via the header uh, with this little shell script here. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.